Hello everyone and welcome back to the industrial server. I am black and I have not been on the server for quite a while, actually approximately a week. I am where I am sometimes at my old base. And this looks quite nice, but when I walk towards my stairs I see that other things are here and this is obsidian. Ten blocks of obsidian and some large bloodstone bricks. I can only conclude that the bloodstone bricks are from Upright because he's the only one on the server doing blood magic except me. And then there is some eucalyptus wood here instead of my stone which I do not approve of. I happen to know that upright, uh, well, he confessed that the bloodstone bricks was from him. And as you can see here, I borrowed a few skulls, wither skulls, upright. Uh, yo, I gave you a stack of skulls since I borrowed 32, Tyler. So, my wither skeleton skulls are being put to use. That's good. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that 18 blocks of obsidian in my base that I do not want here. That's 20 blocks of obsidian. And some more bloodstone bricks. The bloodstone bricks aren't that hard to remove, but the obsidian is a hassle. 22, 24, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, let's see, 33. 37 blocks of obsidian in my base. Now, thank you, Nexus. That was so nice of you. Trust me, you will get it back. And maybe not in such a fancy way as chiseled obsidian. So, this episode we will be focusing. Well, f firstly, I will remove this out of camera. Then, we'll be focusing on actually getting the tier 5 altar which we didn't last time and then we'll also do another ritual I will show you a bit more of the things you can do in blood magic to make it efficient and fun so for now cleaning up time so now that we have uh, cleaned up the obsidian that we got from Nexus I have also decided what to use this for, and it's part of the repranking part, part, part. So now we're doing blood magic, and you, as you can see, we are up here on top of the currently under construction house, and we're getting regeneration. This crystal will soon enough be unnecessary. Uh, before we do anything with the actual altar, I need a better activa activation crystal because the ritual we're doing is the well of suffering which requires dusk runes and if I'm not incorrect anything uh, that needs a dusk rune needs a better activation crystal than the weak one if we press uses on this one you can see that to make an awakened activation crystal we need a demon blood shard weak activation crystal incendium aether and aquacellus, which the recipes are not that very complex and they are made in the alchemic chemistry set and you can also replace this demon blood shard with a nether star and as you all know it's not something that we are lacking at the moment so let's take these put them in here not there Okay, that's the first thing it wants to put it in. Don't think the... No, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. So we need a... Let's take a Magician's Blood Orb. Put it... Okay. Put it here. Get at our Division Sigil. 218 LP. And I think it was 10k LP you needed for this one. Uh, 10k LP, yeah. So I will prick my finger. Here I have uh, realized that the runic armor is very unuseful because you can't really see your hearts. 
but it it's quite fast to get up to 10k and we don't have to do this for a very long time so hopefully hopefully we won't die so just a few more hearts our altar is after all not set to self-sacrifice but there are runes of self-sacrifice instead of these runes of sacrifice that we've been using now why don't you work Oh, no, not Archmage. Uh, let's see, use this. I don't want to use Archmage as one. No. So I need a Master's Blood Orb. That's 40,000 LP. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking I could do it with the Magician's one. I was wrong. Well, let's fix this then. Uh, first of all, we need a blood shard. Let's request one, and then we want some fluid acts. Let's request uh, three of them. Did I request three? Yeah, I did. And then we want a some kind of tank. Okay, let's use these. Why not? They are here after all. Don't put you hit there. You, you. Hmm. You. Pneumatic. Oh, there. I already have a pneumatic server. That's awesome. So let's take. No, let's take the unopaque ones. Just like you can pipe items in, you can pipe pipe liquids in and out. So first of all, let's take you like this because this will look awesome and the pneumatic servo you like so and then when we turn it because we already put the servo in it will automatically pull out good oh there was some life, life essence in it and sacrifice and I will do this for a few minutes and I will be right back so let's try this now. Uh, you might not have enough, and I might fail, but that's things that happen. This is also where you want to use your runes of dislocation, which is the rune we were talking about that we did not make, and I almost died there. That would have been a good thing, because the rune of dislocation allows you to pipe items uh, or liquids in and out of the altar at a half faster pace and this will most definitely fail sooner or later well actually it is currently failing wait what now this is a new one and I can what am I dead now Let's make it like so. And I will be back in a few. And there we go. <coughs> uh, what I did do was let it fail and just filled up the altar with my life points. As I said, the rune of dislocation allows you to pipe uh, liquids in and out of the altar at a faster pace. And what the rune of things, the rune of of efficiency does is the progress when when it starts the blue particles are gray and they are actually failing and your progress is starting starts to tick down what the efficiency room does is that it takes less progress every time it goes down so that's a good room for to have for that one <coughs> now that we have the master blood orb we can actually store up to a million life points in our system so we now currently have <coughs> 10,618. Whoa, whoa. Let's put you back on. Now I've put this in. So you need you need a master blood orb to do this. Alchemy. My bad. Shit happens. 
And that's the awakened activation crystal. And we have another player online. <clears throat> this is the new guy called Pixel Dragon 13 from the Netherlands. And he will be hopefully joining the server. He's on trial right now, so hold your thumbs or cross your fingers as you do when you're non Swedish. Don't know which countries cross their fingers and which countries don't. Can anyone tell me? Okay, so break, 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 break. Oh, there we go. These are actually mariculture tanks, and that's the next thing I wanted to play with. But right now I want to activate a ritual. And that would be the Well of Spring. And I don't remember how much life points it takes to activate it. But I do know that we need 36 ritual zones. Otherwise I have calculated this wrongly. And I've already placed the master ritual stone. So if we just do this a uh, bunch of times. A bunch of times. There we go. <coughs> As you can see it fits quite nicely. Actually I could put it up one more layer. Or if I... Re that would look awesome. That would look so awesome. I'm definitely doing this. I've never really thought about doing that, so we said, yeah, it's this row, the center block here. Break you. Good. And basically it's the one outside the glowstones. It's here. And here. And here. And then we can move the ritual stones two, block up, two blocks up. So I'll do that off camera and I'll be back in a second. So I, pl I removed the ritual stones and now to move the mass ritual stone we need no, we need to move it to two blocks. So let's place that one. Break this one. Hopefully we have enough life points for placing them. I'm not really sure. Like sure, and then remove this block because this block looks terrible. I always remove the wrong item from my hotbar when I'm recording. I don't know why. So, is it still placing? It should be. Yeah, it's still placing. So, there we go. Does it look awesome or not? It looks awesome. I love it. Now, this is the Well of Suffering. When you activate a ritual, it costs life points from your network. And looking, actually, I'm going to look it up now. How much it actually costs? That was Teamspeak. Something happened. Let's see. Well of Suffering is a very big ritual. Let's see. Hmm. Does not say I how much or if any life points it takes. So let's just try it out. Maybe it's f actually free to activate this one. Is it active? I don't know. I have an altar in the way. That's the stupid part of having the altar here. Let's just wait that. And no particle effects. Do I? It's bound to me. Hmm. Okay, I only have 618 in my blood network, so I'll just fill that up. Uh, let's see, my big thing blood orb. You in here. Prick my finger, my finger pricker. Where's my finger pricker? What? Finger pricker. Really? Oops. Uh. Oh, it 
was just right there. I wonder if you s anyone saw that. Sacrifice. So Oh, Pixel Dragon is actually recording an episode already. That's awesome. That's what said Boing earlier. So let's see, 10k LP. Shouldn't that be enough for to start this ritual? Have I done something wrong? Looking at the ritual. Let's see, it's four and four and four and then a complete circle so it's this one then four four and four and then a complete circle with dusk runes in the diagonals uh, purples and blues most definitely look active uh, like it's correct hmm Hmm, I guess the best way to test is to show you what it's supposed to do. And maybe it does work. So, do I have my thing? I have my thing here. If I type in Safari Net, I actually caught a certain monster known as a thing. A. <sighs> Did I f lose that one as well somewhere? Mm, net is uh, very reusable. Bat, magnetostatic engine. And give me those in that order. Ah, ant. The ant from Lycanite's mobs is well. If you don't have the Lycanite's mobs installed. Uh, you can always use witches for this because witches when they g are hurt will kind of use healing potions not to die but the end is basically impossible to kill when they're in water as you can see I can't hurt him with my fist and if I find a sword somewhere whoa he took some damage 11 out of 20 and as soon as he gets into the water he very quickly generate regenerates that health so I'm going to take this fact into account and make a first of all one small uh, contraption containment thing with water in it put the end there and what the will of suffering will do is harm that monster until it dies but since it will not die it will constantly harm that monster and give me uh, life points in my altar so I will be back when I've built the containment okay so I now have over 50,000 life points so awakened activation crystal please activate thus ritual for me thank you those particles tells you it's working and now I'm down to 1000 so 50,000 is the correct number and I could not find that out from the forum page but now you know so what the ritual does it it hurts any nearby entities like this ant as you can hear he's taking damage and I placed him in here but uh, since he's in water he will never die every time it does this the well of suffering uh, increases the amount of life points in the nearby altar by 10 this is uh, then uh, mo modified by the runes of sacrifice 
each rune adds a 10% gain, so, and I was wrong, it's not multiplied as additive, so, one of these rows is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 28, so that's plus 280%. So, let's see, 10 times 2.8, that's not very hard, that's 280 life points per time he gets hurt. And this is constant. And something is draining the altar as well. I'm guessing weird things. Really? Could be that the old actual altar is filling the ritual, but it shouldn't. Uh, well, I'm losing life points, so that should be things. I'm not. <coughs> I wouldn't say that I'm an expert on how they actually work. I do know this is would be an awesome way to power any blood altar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get more ends. I'm going to put four in each corner in each of these uh, uh, encapturements uh, in each of these cages out of basalt break. And that will give me a shit ton more of uh, life points. So um, yeah, let's fill this up for now. I'm thinking maybe I need a name tag for it. I'm not sure. <coughs> but what will that will do, it will give me very, 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 very much life points per cycle. And if I put my orb here and leave, this will keep filling, my orb will keep filling, my network will be keep kept full, which means I can use any bound items uh, how much ever I want, and it will never run out. So that's awesome. The next step except filling it up with creatures is making use of it making use of it yeah well I kind of did plan on doing blood magic on this episode but then again I also decided that I want to upgrade it to a tier 5 altar because currently I get what I need but <coughs> I'll just show you. I need to do one more reinforced slate. So what I've did to accomplish this is I've taken stone, thrown it in the hopper approximately 10 at a time. And if we look here, it does go down, but it also ticks up once in a while. But because it's harming the ends that I've placed here, I think I have eight ends. And here I have an item filter for a reinforced slate. There we go. So, a reinforced slate. Runes of sacrifice 13 times 4 is 52. Is it? Yes, it is. So, runes of sacrifice. We need lots and lots of sacrifice runes. Because we wanted to get the most out of our uh, ants. Do, do, do. Do -do -do -do. What you have to keep in mind when doing things like this oops, is that the ritual of uh, the Well of Suffering constantly drains your LP network. So if I look here, I'm not at a million, I'm slowly going down from a million, because a million is all that the Master's Blood Orb can hold. Now, user entered your let's channel. See. Hey, Blue. Hello, Black. You're in the middle of my episode. Well, actually, you're in the end of my episode. Okay. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have a automated tier five altar that constantly fills my LP network very quickly. So yeah, that there's a million. So what do we want to do next? I Let's, let's just try to put a stone in it. So, do you remember playing with blood magic on Resonant Rise? A little bit. You have to speak up a bit more. Oh, a, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
the industrial ritual. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gaining tons and tons of L uh, LP into my altar while upgrading the slate. And I have to turn this off. And demand a high rate sound signal. Take this one and put it back in. See what's happening. <laughs> One way to fix the issue I have here with my uh, blood not making it all the way is uh, removing the speed runes, which is not a terrible idea. I really should. So with there we go. Now we have a demonic slate because demonic slates are awesome and used for the sigil of haste, the sigil of the whirlwind. Uh, rune of the orb. The rune of the orb adds, I think it's 10, 2, no, maybe 2% onto the orb's capacity if you place it around an altar. And you can have several altars. Awesome. So, let's see. Now I want to do some mariculture. Okay, so I had a few issues with my recording, and I lost a bit of footage, but this is a re-recording of that footage. The vat is a good way to start in mariculture. The copper, uh, seven copper ingots make a vat. If you place one vat down, and you fill it with lava, and currently it's next to a lava fabricator, it should fill up, and it does. You can use this lava to place a ordinary brick or another brick inside and you get particle effects and when this is done you get the burnt bricks if you use another brick it takes eight seconds and a half a bucket of lava if you use an ordinary brick it takes 16 seconds and a whole bucket of lava so dum -dum -dum -dum, be finished be finished And there we got one more brick, burnt brick, and the same with an ordinary brick. You can also use the vat as a multi-block by placing three more. We get a bigger one that should also get filled with lava, and you're destroying quite a bit of lava when you do what I'm doing here for recording purposes. So, three, two, one, let's go! Three, two, one, let's jam! Do -do 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 -do. There we go, some lava. And now we can put a brick here, and that will convert into an or a burnt brick. The burnt bricks can be used, <coughs> amongst other things, to make the brick construction block with this, which is a quite useful block in mariculture. It's also used in the crucible furnace, the blacksmith anvil, the ingot caster, and the blacksmith's hammer. The blacksmith's hammer and the blacksmith's anvil is what we're going to focus on now. The blacksmith ha anvil and hammer is quite a recent addition to mariculture uh, because if we take a pearl, ignore the ender and flux pearl, the mariculture pearls here, let's take a green one, let's take a brown one because we have most of those. You can take this and some gold, for example, to make a ring. Now this is an unworked brown pearl ring. So earlier we got a ring. Now we need the blacksmith anvil and blacksmith hammer. So you place the ring here, you take your hammer and you smack it. And you keep smacking it until it's finished. If you want, you can take the ring out and look at the progress bar. 27%. And keep smacking it. And keep smacking it. There we go. Now we have a brown pearl ring. The brown pearl ring in itself cannot really be equipped anywhere. But Mariculture adds another thing that is quite useful and very handy and fun, is the mirror. The mirror, you can right click, you can put on jewelry, rings, bracelets and necklaces. 
If you look here, you have something that looks familiar. If you put an item here, you can enchant it. Ooh. So, this one, the ordinary mirror, isn't that fancy. But if we type in a mirror, you see that there is the mirror, the celestial mirror, and the magic mirror. The mirror is the first one. The celestial mirror is an ordinary crafting table that can enchant up to level 30. And it looks like 33 in the parenthesis, the, the, the bra uh, rounded bracket thing is. And the, you can also change what level you want to enchant with. The cel uh, No. Ah, the magic mirror goes up to level 30. The celestial mirror goes from 33 to 60. The celestial mirror takes a magic mirror, a nether star, magic droplets, golden thread, and storage bookshelves. And as I said, up to level 60 enchants. And you need a mirror to be able to put on jewelry. So let's just let's just go down and make a random enchant because we feel lucky. So here, like this. Unbreaking 3, that's the crappiest enchant you can ever get on a ring. I do believe I have another ring here. Leapfrog 4, which is a mariculture enchant. Now, we can really can't really make a difference, but if we hold control, which is the default activate key, and jump, we jump quite high. And I made one of these rings for blue, and he takes fall damage every time he jumps. But it's quite a fun uh, enchant. Sonic the Hedgehog, for those of you who play Sega, is an enchant that makes you run really, really, really fast. So, in the next episode, I will be going over to Deke's Story, and there is a big surprise that I am so excited to tell you about, and I don't want to do it in this episode, but it's so awesome. So just believe me, it's so awesome. It's basically kind of a new member, a person which I kind of watch on YouTube and I admired, and uh, now he wanted to join the server. So awesome. So for now, bye bye and look forward to the next Mariculture episode.